Hello, Taurus. It is time for your November reading of this current year. At least the beginning of it, anyway. All the way to the middle. What time in the middle? I have no idea. I just know it's somewhere in the middle. Okay, I'm done. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> I'm still doing personal readings. If anybody's interested, just go down to the description box below and my email's down there. Just hit me up there and I'll give you the rundown. And then we go from there. I need to test if that uh, freaking PayPal thing works anyway. Because I, I don't think I've ever gotten anybody to send it to me through that. It's always been through the email because there's a little icon with Google. But I don't know. I have no idea how it works. So it's going to be a learning experience for all of us. I'll do one more cut. So anyway, Taurus, I hope you're enjoying the rest of your game. We're finally in the Scorpio. Much like Pluto, it will not put up with your bullshit. So it's better not to be back on your bullshit. <laughs> I love that phrase. Back on my bullshit. I don't know. I'm not really entirely sure what it means, but I do love it. No way, I mean, all right. Let us begin, Taurus. I'm just gonna lay this first spread out for you, and then we'll go from there. Because I'd rather be quick about this. My child, which grows inside of me, is very, very finicky. Yeah, it's like that. <laughs> and we'll clarify everything afterwards. The beginning theme is uh, a little bit of hesitation on going on a shitty journey. I don't blame you. It might just be hesitation in general. And I'm looking at it. Like. It's like you didn't pay attention to the cliff at first. And you managed to gain your balance. But then there's that white dog. And it's got a chance of like knocking you over. And you're kind of holding yourself back. And like trying to stiffen up to wait. To see if that impact like knocks you off a little bit or not. That hesitation with that. That kind of hesitation. If that counts. That's, that's kind of how it feels. Uh, the way you feel about yourself right now is like your house is a mess. What's going on around that is like there was a breakup somewhere. Maybe between lovers or two people just stopped getting along on something. Or just some disillusion of a union of some kind, right? could also be dealing with a Gemini. It seems like someone's trying to be in control. Or maybe it could be an Aries because this is their card. The Empress could also be the card, too, uh, for a female one, so just keep that in mind. It could be either or, but it's still like, you know, this one's the one that's against you. Uh, the adapter, the manipulator, the dastardly, um, empire emperor, right? empire emperor, that makes sense. Like it's kind of coming against what you want, which is the way your option's out, Right? Like, he's in control, he's the one who wants to set the rules, he's the one who wants to dominate everything and say what is or isn't, or how things should be worked, it's just kind of like, you know, that's who's against you, or the concept of what's against you, that doesn't even have to be a person, be the energy. And then up here, there's a fear of, like, celebrations of sorts. And down below that is, with this final result, the Empress, which deals with the feminine, the divine, um, coming to fruition, maybe even pregnancy, or some sort of mother involvement. Right? But there's hesitation. So, like... Home's kind of like not as homey as it used to be because the emperor's here having control over everything, which is what's against you, Taurus. Mind you, this is a general reading, so it just can go either or, or it can be related in another fashion, right? Because of that emperor dominating, I feel like. 
There's just this fear of the celebration. But there's also this this illusion of a union ship or like even a split with this lover is reversed, right? Because someone wanted to weigh their options out when it came to this empress, this motherly figure, this feminine energy. Like, all the potential. Like, if all of the queen, court card queens... And this is the truth, right? This is the crowning truth. If all the court queens could be like a Metagazord, like from Power Rangers, and combine, they would become like the Empress, because she's all, all of them combined. She has all of their fair qualities and traits, right? And there's a need to uh, take the time to recover and rest. I feel like someone might be um, hesitating with this good time, too. Like, they're waiting for a transformation or something to die off before they let something new back in, maybe? Okay, no whammies. So, we'll clarify everything. The Four of Wands, right here, where you feel like your home isn't exactly your home. This is faded, and things are going to be moving on from here. Or that's, or either that or it's the movement forward, Taurus. With the Wheel of Fortune, that Saturn energy where like, it's driving it forward. It's going to keep possibly going in that direction. Um, this is the retrograde with Venus, and we just entered Scorpio, so things will probably be uncomfortable for a while, <laughs> to say the least. Not that that's a bad thing, but like just keep in mind the wheel is still turning in good favor, right? It's not stalled at least. Someone's not putting fate off, right? With someone wanting to weigh their options comes the two of swords. Then we got someone's fear of this party and bad news with the page of wands. Ooh. Huh. See. Oh, yes. Yes, someone needs to recover about this hesitation thing, right? So, like, someone's being real quick to spread the word that in the past there's a breakup somewhere. Like, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, like, someone's charging in. Bringing up some past shit about, like, because he's going left, so the left's like the past, right? He's bringing up some past shit about a breakup of sorts or something that didn't work out. And that's causing the home to feel really kind of chaotic. But that's the drive needed for this Satarian energy. Or Sagittarian energy. Not Satarian. That's not even a freaking word. Silly me. Yeah, yeah, that, but that's the, going to be the driving force with the Wheel of Fortune. That's what's driving everything to that point and possibly beyond. And someone's weighing their options out about trying to sneak away from these two swords right here, which possibly... I actually... Didn't Cancer have this? I think so. We're like, the lovers are reversed, or maybe even the two of cups were reversed, and they were trying to sneak away from those two cups that break up. Right? That separation. Like, trying to take only these swords that are mentally important to you and walking away without any sort of disregard to these two right here. <laughs> like, just letting it sit there and just be like, oh, these don't belong to me anymore. Just leaving for, for, like, the eight of swords to pick up and probably cut her dress on. Like, ooh, Boo. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, someone's weighing their options about trying to get away from something. Maybe they feel like it's futile, too. You know? And someone's afraid that, like, this over-celebration's just... <sighs> Possibly gonna delay some travels. Maybe someone's afraid that, like... Maybe they're being a little bit introverted and being like, I don't have to go to this party! Yay! It's... <laughs> Or maybe they're, or maybe someone's worried they're gonna have to call off celebrations of something. 
because he's faced in the past too, he might be announcing some not so happy news. Or maybe the news will be delayed about this celebration too. Hmm. Look at this. With this weight of options and like trying to get away from it. Just this dictator who like I feel like they aren't even aware. Like this could be Cancer or Pisces, because either or, right? But like I like to think of this more as Pisces, but like that's kind of interesting is they're a cusp. But like it's like this person doesn't even realize how like Not as much dickish as it is just how annoying they can be. You know, like they they like they go through shit and they expect other people to just accept the fact that like they're going to be in control and sometimes they do really dramatic shit on purpose. <laughs> That's kind of how it feels. Oh. Sorry, I had to grab something really quick. There's something in my eye. I don't know what it is. Uh, okay. Now I can see. Alright. So yeah, like... Some, I feel like someone doesn't even realize how... I mean, if they are being manipulated, they really don't see it, but it's almost like they don't notice their bad traits, too. And that's why someone's kind of, like, thinking about sneaking off in this scenario, or because they think something's futile, right? And maybe some bad news about some celebrations, or maybe some canceling of that, and that's a fear. Because someone has a surrender, like, or someone feels like there's an enemy in their house some feminine person, some motherly figure, like, coming against them and not giving them a chance to, like, grow and flourish on their own. Like, I almost feel like someone's going to be smothered by that empress, maybe. Yeah, the home's in disarray. It's just staying upside down. Like, everything you invest is, like... It's, like, it, it, like you know, strings attached vibe. Like, you put so much in, and yet... This keeps getting thrown from the past. Like, someone just runs in to be, like, throwing poo at you. The one of those monkeys at the zoo. right here. Maybe someone's trying to collect themselves back up. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. So it could be you, Taurus, right here. Trying to find a way of getting away from all of this after you've weighed your options in order to really deal with yourself, because this lies below and this goes so above, and that's kind of the advice from this. Like, trying to find yourself in all this. Like, getting your pinnacle back after this ten. This ten deals with completion. 
And I feel like that Ten of Pentacles may not be completed in the most healthiest way. Well, I don't, I don't even want to say it like that. It's just it didn't work out or it didn't go as planned or something just wasn't stable enough. There wasn't enough foundation, maybe. But not like in a makeup sort of way. Oh, two cards. Someone's a little bit unhappy in this situation. It's because someone was a little bit arrogant. Someone like maybe lost all hope in it. Like, somebody doesn't want to take a chance because after all of this happens, like, they're finally getting to the point where, um, they're themselves again. Someone's just like, I don't know, man, like, I don't know if I can do this again, you know? But I don't, but that's what I got for you, Taurus, and I'll see you later. Bye-byes.